Cyber Monday is here. One company is predicting a record-breaking $11.3 billion day for online retailers, but some local economists say shoppers weren't waiting for the big deals this year. News 12 Connecticut's Sean McCabe has more. Obviously, the numbers of for Black Friday is down. National retailers reporting foot traffic was down 28% this Black Friday compared to pre-pandemic levels. Online shopping on Friday took a small dip from a year ago. I would think that Cyber Monday will be another, just like Black Friday, it will be down compared to the last year. Professor Kawaja Mamoon says shoppers were checking off their holiday lists early this year amid fears about national shipping delays. They would rather have the gift in hand rather than trying to get a deal and don't have the gift because of the supply chain matters. And continuing post-pandemic inflation. People are looking at prices are going up, so they're trying to buy it as soon as possible. They don't, they're not going to wait till prices go up. Professor Mamoon says Americans are spending money this year, just not all at once. The holiday season as a whole, I think, should be fine. Gotcha. But uh, just looking at a few days will be misleading. As more and more shoppers buy online, identity theft and fraud skyrocket at this time of year. State police say you should never give payment information to an unsecured site. Some of the things that to look out for is the little padlock symbol when you go to um, the website or when you go to cash out. Sergeant Dawn Pagan says to shop online with a credit card so you can review possible fraudulent charges. She says if your identity is stolen, police want to hear from you. Don't. Be afraid or feel that you're bothering the police by notifying them of these, this fraudulent activity. Oftentimes you may not be the only one. Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut. For more information about fraud and identity theft, state police recommend checking out the tips on the Federal Trade Commission's consumer website. We do have a link for you on our website, news12.com.